Alright you guys, so in this video we're going to do a new exhaust system on my truck. Um, right now I still have the uh, factory exhaust, but uh, before I tell you what exhaust I bought, let me give you a backstory on this exhaust. So, um, a little over a year ago I bought this truck at Galpin, uh, Galpin Honda, and uh, out here in uh, Granada Hills, California. And um, had uh, 103,000 miles on it, and uh, before taxes, it was $6,200. And um, one of the things, you know, and they were originally they were asking 13,000, and you know, we just kind of laughed at that price. And um, but one of the things we noticed was uh, part of the exhaust was missing. And if you look right there, that's actually where the exhaust originally ended, and so. You know, we, we made a deal with them and said, listen, part of the truck's missing. And um, said, you know, we won't take, you know, we, 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 we basically won't give you anything over 6500 unless you fix the exhaust. And um, so they took it down to some general muffler shop that they're contracted with. And they did this absolutely just ratchet, last minute, you know, job right there. And um, then the other thing that... Uh, you might notice and I did a video on this and uh, you notice that the weld has failed right here and so I now have my exhaust holding on with a uh, metal hose clamp and uh, before it was zip ties but it, it was melting and whatnot so um, yeah that's a very bad job so um, you know it's just whoever Whoever Galpin Honda has contracted as their muffler shop needs to go looking around for a different uh, person in town because uh, I'm not a professional. I can even do something better than that. So, and we're going to be putting something much better than this thing on. So, um, yeah. So I've been living with this exhaust for about a year and a half now, and the exhaust has fallen a couple of times when I had the uh, zip ties on, or even before. Um, I was just driving around and you heard a snap and I'm dragging my exhaust so um, but anyway I bought the um, I bought the Dynamax uh, Ford Ranger exhaust I believe it's a super turbo model uh, muffler series and uh, you know chrome tip three inch exhaust well two and a half pipe and then three inch exit uh, for the tip um, I got it on Amazon after shipping and taxes and whatnot it came out to 274 um, and so I just got an email from UPS saying it will be here tomorrow morning um, or afternoon or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to get it, um, put it on. Um, as some of you do know, I'm an auto tech student at Oxnard and um, contacted my instructors and to see if I can use a shop to get this thing up in the air to show you guys and, you know, the installation a lot easier than me sticking a tripod underneath the truck. And plus, it'll just make it easier to install it. But if not, you know, I'll figure out a way to do it here at home. So, but, uh, yeah, so once it gets here in the mail, we'll unbox it and show it to you and whatnot. So, we'll pick it up there. All right, you guys, so the exhaust system is here, but uh, it will not be here for long. Because um, I'm sending it back to UPS. <laughs> Seems like every time I get something I really want from my truck, i got to send it back for something. But, uh, it's because it's missing two parts. Um... It's missing the exhaust tip and it's missing the uh, the intermediate pipe uh, that connects from my uh, catalytic converter to the muffler. Um, and I have the another interesting thing here is um, supposedly Amazon says that this kit fits my 2007 Ranger, but if we look here at the quote-unquote instruction manual which uh, yeah that's that's even worse than Harbor Freight um, it says right here year 98 to 99 four and six cylinder Rangers two-wheel drive 112 inch wheelbase or foot, foot no it's not foot Jesus um, wheelbase all engines and so you can see here you have the muffler um, 52085 pipe and you can see that that's the intermediate pipe which is nowhere to be found um, also the exhaust tip which is uh, uh, hmm apparently that's optional that's cheating bastards may have to go buy a tip at O'Reilly's then because it says it's optional and that that's the part number 36484 and you can see optional 
right there. So, anyway, uh, <clears throat> so those are the two things that are missing. Um, and then, of course, the, the wonderful manual. And it almost looks like someone tried to install this already because the pipe's covered in grease. And you can see grease all over this uh, instruction manual. So I just caught off the phone with the Amazon customer service. And um, they've already processed the order. And it's going to be here on Friday. And today's Wednesday. So, but um, here's a look at the muffler. That's pretty heavy. Probably weighs about 10, 15 pounds. Heavy for a muffler. There's the muffler support bracket, and we've got the uh, clamps and stuff in there. But um, yeah, there's just no way to run the muffler to the cat. So otherwise, I'd be putting it in right now. And you can just see how much wider this exhaust pipe is compared to. Well, I'll just bring it over here. Like this almost looks like an F-150 tailpipe. Just look at the size difference there. So, yeah. If only. So, sadly, not yet. I gotta wait a couple more days. So, oh well. But uh, yeah. So that means with work and everything else, this exhaust won't get put on the truck until like, oh, I don't know, Monday or Tuesday, because <laughs> of how uh, my work schedule is over the weekend. Well, it depends on what time it gets here Friday. I don't know. We'll see. So, um, yeah, I'm bummed. I really wanted to put this in today. Have a nice sounding mean truck. Oh well. So, yeah, I was uh, I was pulling all the packing paper out, expecting more parts, but uh, yeah, sadly no. It was funny. Even the UPS guy said uh, I might want to check the contents because he said even the box looked a bit uh, tattered and torn. So. Um, yeah, there was one corner that was, yeah, right here, but, yep, so, I'm gonna print the return label out and whatnot, and I always like to ship it after I know that my other one's on the way, that way I'm not completely exhaust systemless, if you want to call it that, so, yeah, I guess I'll keep you guys up to date, but, uh, that's a, that's a buzzkill, so, we'll pick it up when I get my new exhaust. Alright you guys, so an update on the exhaust system, um, <clears throat> something dawned on me last night, isn't that funny when you're just laying there trying to sleep, just stuff pops into your head. Anyway, um, as some of you might know who've uh, watched my channel a lot, you know that uh, when I bought this truck, part of the exhaust system was already missing, and so Galvin Honda sent it to one of the worst muffler shops that I've, the work they did on my truck was absolutely horrendous, I mean a monkey could do better. And, um... So the, the 90 degree elbow that goes out to the side was missing on my truck. So they literally just found a piece of pipe uh, at the end that you saw there when I compared the pipe sizes. Um, they found that piece of pipe and then they just tack welded it into place and then there's no hanger on my truck to hang the rear of the exhaust on. And so they literally just took a piece of uh, like maybe quarter inch to you know somewhere on there piece of steel tubing and uh, they they basically just bolted that up to my frame and then welded it to the exhaust system which then rusted out because uh, they did they didn't even clean the the metal before they welded it and so I noticed when I was holding the exhaust yesterday um, that uh, the the new exhaust that it had that uh, the hanger port right above the uh, 90 degree bend and I remembered that my truck doesn't have the hanger and so um, I was looking online for the hanger prices and they want like 80 bucks for them I'm like, you guys are out of your mind. So I just drove out here to pick your part out here in Santa Paula, and uh, I found this on another Ranger out here. And uh, hopefully this fits my truck. If not, it was only eight bucks. Um, and so the uh, the new exhaust should fit right in there. Um, which, I mean, this should work because that exhaust system says it works all the way back to like the 90s Ranger, and I pulled it off an 04. Um, so yeah, if you know if if you're in my situation and you need a new exhaust hanger, man, just go to a junk part or a, a junkyard. So, quick little loosening of the nut, and it was a bit because I didn't have any grease on me, so it was a bit tricky getting that off. But uh, it came out, and uh, that's just an update on the exhaust. Um, but uh, yeah, you learn stuff about your vehicle every day. So, 
back home and the exhaust should be delivered tomorrow and uh, once I get some free time we'll get to installing it. There you go, so uh, good news, a new exhaust came in about 10 minutes ago from FedEx. Um, I gotta say, that's impressive. Um, Amazon placed the order on uh, Wednesday night, it got shipped on Thursday, and today's Friday, so, and it came all the way from Pennsylvania, and I live in California, so that's uh, pretty damn impressive considering the box weighs 50 pounds. If I would have, if I would have originally chosen, you know, one day shipping, it would have been like 100 bucks. So thank you, Amazon. Um, you know, that's why I keep coming to you guys, you know. If something gets messed up, they're extremely apologetic and they pay you back in very fast shipping and no charge. So, um, I caught a little break in between work. I got about three hours. Um, I should be able to get this done by now. Um, and so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little sound sample of what the stock exhaust sounds like. Um, just to compare the two and uh, also I'm gonna have some music playing in between you know while I'm speaking my buddy gave me a bunch of royalty free music um, so let me know if you guys like that um, for those of you who watch my channel a lot just let me know if you like you know uh, the direction the channel's going um, as far as with the music and whatnot if not I'll just stop using it so um, yeah we'll cut to a uh, sound sample So that's the exhaust, the stock one. Um, <clears throat> and so, if you heard that puffing sound, I mean, because there's a there's a hole in the back of the exhaust because of that wonderful job the muffler shop did. So we're gonna crawl underneath and start taking the hardware off. Um, that leads from the cat to the intermediate pipe. All right, you guys. So good news, uh, the bolts are breaking free with despite all the rust on them, with a little bit of uh, motivation with some penetrating oil. Um, and so I got a 15. A uh, combination wrench here and a uh, 5 8 socket uh, for the bolts here. And so I'm just going to lay you guys down because my tripod is not short enough. And uh, we'll uh, start working on this.
Alright, so now I'm actually holding the exhaust rope. And down she goes. Just like that. And I think that new bracket will actually sit right there. But, uh, yeah. I've got the other two bolts just kind of sitting back there. Uh, just to hold it on, just in case it did drop. But, uh, I'm, not, I'm about to be completely exhaustless right now. I keep using that word in this video. <laughs> One of Eric's new coin phrases. Exhaustless. <laughs> Alright. So now, let's take these off. Push back. And my truck has no exhaust. So, here's the inside of the cat, if you can see it. But, uh, yeah. Time to get rid of this old shitty rust, rusty exhaust, so we'll uh, pull it out and, uh, you know, I think the biggest obstacle right now is just going to get the exhaust out, so we'll start doing that now. Alright you guys, so the old exhaust is now out. Um, a tip, um, you're going to have to take, if you want to get it out easily without cutting it, um, you have to take the passenger side shock off uh, of the rear, that way you can make room to get the muffler out, and then I just fished it out the back. and. Um, yeah, as you can see, she's she's rusty. So, but um, I'll give you a quick uh, size comparison here of the tubing. I, I'll set you guys down, then we'll cut back to there. So, all right. So here's a size comparison of the two. As you can see, it's much bigger. Um, they did get the mounting point right, at least at the. Uh, you know the shitty muffler place at least I got that right but uh, I'm getting excited now so um, yeah so now I'm gonna find that little bracket that I got at the junkyard and we're gonna put that in next I thought I'd show you what's in the box. Obviously, you've got the uh, the rear pipe. Um, I'll show you everything else that comes in there and how it's packaged. Um, that's the size. That's the size of the box. Um, oh, you guys already kind of saw what was in the box when I first uh, when I got my first order. But um, yeah, here's the tip. We'll show that later when I uh, finish put the finishing touches on it. So um, same spotty uh, installation manual clamps got the little uh adapter shim type deal that's the brand that's the band for the exhaust tip um and here's the intermediate pipe that's one of the parts that was missing and a word from a word to dynamax uh, use different stickers please because these stickers are not coming off with any ease I would uh, suggest getting like those laminated stickers, but that's just me. I hear that's a big complaint with uh, Dynamax, but oh well, I'm not really too worried about it because it's not really going to be seen anyway. And then lastly, we have the muffler, which was I took it out of the box earlier. So yeah, that's a look inside if you can actually see in there. So we're going to put the uh, intermediate peep, peep uh, intermediate pipe on first. And I'm just going to loose, once I get everything in there, I'm just going to loosely do it and then uh, start from the front back. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll get started installing that. Alright, so just to give you an update really quick. Um, I went ahead and started from the rear because I don't know, it doesn't say anywhere on the muffler in the instructions which way is front. So, because there's a, there's a bend right there in the inter, in, uh, intermediate pipe. And so I'm just going to put the muffler on and then... Um, see which outlet goes where um and then uh i'll let you guys know where it goes from there all right you guys so good news um i found out which way the muffler goes 
Um, it looks like this end with the uh, with the outlet right in the middle, that's going to go towards the cat, and then the the one that has a higher offset, that's going to go up here so that you get proper clearance back there on your tailpipe. Um, so I've got the uh, support bracket right now holding this on pretty loosely, but it's up there. That's one thing I like about this. My my OE muffler didn't even have that. So that's, that's props to Dynamax. Um, and so now I'm going to run my intermediate pipe right here and then we're going to start putting clamps on everything and lining everything up and tightening it down. Get the distance that I want just right. I think that'll work. So now,
All right, you guys, so I think that is on there pretty good. And I just used a little water drain hole as my marker. Um, and so now the ultimate test is to start her up and see how she sounds really quick. So I'm gonna go do that and hopefully she sounds pretty good. So we'll see. Ooh, that sounds good. Can't really hear that burbling in the cab, but Yeah, that sounds really nice. It's got that nice deep tone to it. So um, Yeah, I've I've heard some reviews that this thing sounds a lot better once it's broken in and um, Which is perfect because next month I'm driving 900 miles up to Idaho. So I think that'll offer some pretty adequate break-in time, but um, Yeah, everything's tightened in We're tightened down Everything looks good. So, yeah, that sounds really good now. So, yep. So anyway, um, yeah, there's the old exhaust. And um, I love the way it looks. I love the way it sounds. And so now I just got to button everything back up, you know, put the spare back on and my shock back in place. And um, I'll put a link down on Amazon where I bought this. Um, they only had two left in stock. They said there might be more on the way. Um, but, uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, feeling generous hit that like button. And, uh, again, let me know if you like that music or not. Um, if you do, I'll keep using it in some of my longer videos. If not, you know, I'll just stop using it. So, and again, it's just, it's just some royalty free music so I don't get copyrighted. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Take care. We'll leave on a nice little note here. So. <laughs> I'm happy. So. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.